Hello everybody, my name is Zula and welcome to another episode of Modding Fallout New Vegas. In today's episode, we are going to be looking at a couple of awesome mods that add some quests, add some player homes, add some convenience to your game. Uh, these mods are really great. I'm not going to cover them in great detail in this video because I plan on making a separate detailed video on each of them. They're fairly popular mods, so they will have um, videos online if you're interested in that kind of stuff. I'll just cover the basics now though. The first mod is After School Special, a really awesome quest mod that eventually allows you to convert uh, the old school into a player home. It features something called the Sortomatic inside of it, uh, which allows you to sort your items and retrieve them really easily. It makes things really convenient and gives you an awesome base that you get to build yourself in Good Springs. Next up is the New Bison Steve Hotel. This is also a really great mod with a lot of detail, a lot of heart and soul put into it. I could cover all the things in detail here, but just on screen there's kind of a feature list. Check that out. There will be a video coming soon. Finally, we're going to be adding New Vegas Bounties. New Vegas Bounties is an awesome mod. I pretty much don't play without it. The quest is great, uh, and the evolution from New Vegas Bounties 1 to New Vegas Bounties 2 uh, just is above and beyond. All of these mods are amazing. They fit really well into the game world, and they're going to be used as some kind of additional, really high quality content. So without further ado, let's actually get to the installation portion of this. Okay, it's time for the part of the video where we download the files. We're going to start off with Sortomatic Modders Resource. Remember, this isn't actually a mod, but it is going to be needed for the files that follow. We're going to start off by just clicking Download with Manager on the main file. It's going to tell us we need NVSE, but don't worry, we already have that taken care of. After that, we're going to move over to the After School Special Mod page. Uh, from here, go to the File section. Now, it may be a little bit confusing because you'll notice there's an update here with the sort of patch. You're not going to need that. All you need is the main file, uh, After School Special V201 sort of V4 Full. That's the one you download. Do not download uh, this other file. You don't need the update file. Just download the top main file and you'll be good to go. Uh, for the new Bison Steve Hotel and Lucky Casino, head over to the file section of there. And what we're going to want to do is download the main file, the new Bison Steve version 107 master file version. We are also going to manually download the new Bison Steve version 107 sortomatic version. You'll notice that this is a manual download file, so we're going to drag that to our desktop for the installation process. Next up, we're going to download the Some Guy series mod. Uh, this again is just a plugin that's going to be used for the Some Guy mods. We're going to be using the New Vegas Bounties in this case, so just go ahead and download the main file. We're going to go ahead and download New Vegas Bounties 1, and then we're going to follow that right up with New Vegas Bounties 2, which you can download here. Again, we are just going to be getting the, uh, the top version here, not the optional file. Alright, so everything's been downloaded. What we're going to do now is install those mods in order. You should be familiar with this process if you know how to use Mod Organizer and have watched the first couple of videos in this series. We're going to start off with Sortomatic. Sortomatic needs a manual install just to check things out and it's uh, packaged properly, so we're going to go ahead and click OK. After that, After School Special. Now, as you can see, After School Special doesn't have the data on the top level, so we're going to fix that uh, by setting the data directory uh, until it says it looks good. You notice I had to go through two levels of files. That's perfectly fine. Now that that's been done, click OK. After that, the new Bison Steve Hotel. Uh, we're going to start off with the main file which again, we're gonna to need to set the data directory, same as before. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is install this file that we had to download manually. This is the Sortomatic addition to uh, the new Bison Steve Hotel. Before we actually go ahead and install this file, first I want you to go over to the, uh, the main window here in your mod organizer, select the new Bison Steve Hotel mod, uh, and what we're going to do is hit the F2 button on it. What this is going to do is allow you to edit the title of the mod. From here, I'm going to hit Control C or I'm going to right click and hit copy. This is basically just copying the name of the mod. Once I've copied the name of the new Bison Steve Hotel, I'm going to go ahead and click the install mod button and then I'm going to select the mod from my big list of things on my desktop, selecting the new Bison Steve Hotel. From here, we're going to have to set it up properly. Set the data directory of the main file. From there, we are going to need to set the data directory again, this time to the ESM version. 
Then set the data directory a final time to the data folder in there. Now before you hit OK, what you're going to do is you're going to select the title of this mod and you're going to right click and hit paste. This is just going to make the names of these two files match, so we're going to hit OK. It's going to tell you it detected that they have the same name. That's perfectly fine. We're going to hit Merge. Uh, because obviously this is an add-on to the new Bison Steve Hotel, we want those to go together into a single file. Now that we've done that, we can finish off with the install by going to the Some Guy series. Uh, once again, this mod is not quite packaged correctly, so set the data directory down the line until everything looks good. Then we're going to install New Vegas Bounties 1, which we are going to go set data directory, set data directory, and once everything looks good, we can click OK. Then we're going to install New Vegas Bounties 2, which is going to require us to do basically the same thing. Uh, now that we're here, we're going to click OK, and this will extract several files, and that's pretty much it. After that, you can check these off. Uh, manage your load order using a tool like Loot uh, whatnot. If you uh, are following along in this guide, you can create a brand new profile by copying this profile and naming it after this chapter. That's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching. Sorry that this video was a little weird, a little bit shorter than normal, but there is a method to my madness. Now that we have these extra pieces of content, we can install things like interior lighting for them and do a couple of other things that are going to be going on top of these mods. So. Stay tuned for that in a future video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you're wondering what to watch next, I have provided two videos for you. You can click them right here. Get subscribed by clicking on that circle icon and subscribing to my channel. And please follow myself and Shoelace on the social medias that you see above. Thank you. Have an excellent day.